All right, everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. I think it's about time we take on our boy Seat the Scaleless. Now, um, it's been a bit, so I can't remember exactly everything we got done, but I'm fairly certain we got a lot of the path cleared, didn't we? You're up there, but whatever. Yeah, okay. Um, not human. Where did I die? <sighs> Shit. Oh well. Um, do I have any humanity? Oh, yes, I do. Alright. We're gonna go turn human on the off chance that someone has put down a summon sign. Now, our big goal today is to kill Seat the Scaleless. Depending on how long that takes, we may go to another area and begin that. Now, we have the right of kindling, don't we? Uh, we killed the four kings. I forgot about that. I did not get the right of kindling yet. That's okay. Now, uh, my headset is rather loud on my ears right now. If the dogs are whining, I apologize. I can't hear them right now. Uh, they're both in the kennel at the moment because they decided that even though I put my food up where I couldn't, where they couldn't reach it to go to the bathroom, they decided they were gonna jump up and knock over the entire table. See, I'm a little upset, not gonna lie. But it's okay. You know why? Because we're not going to let that get us down. Nothing going to break my stride. Okay, we're going to have to take down a number of these on the way. Child's play. I did not dodge correctly. All right. I don't remember where I died, but I wanted to go get the right of kindling first because of how much healing I use. <sighs> I don't need transient curses equipped or poison. What the hell was I doing? I probably need to go back and watch that again. Oh well. Um, alright. Now if I die, this is going to be a big waste. But I can use humanity to heal if I really need it. Okay, we're going to try to... Oh, we already aggroed one. Good, 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 good. We want to take these on one at a time, just because they can be annoying in a pair. Why did shooting one aggro the other? Wow, I'm being a horrible shot right now. What's the fuck ass? Take your swing! Do it. All right. Further down into the crystal caves. Oh, wow, you look like shit, tree. You know, I never really realized just how bad the trees look. Wow. That's a bit of an oof. Down into Crystal Cave. Okay, now you got one approaching you here. Oh, that's a little unusual. See, this one in my experience tends to favor the big lunge attack. Which can actually be a little bit difficult to avoid because of the size of its hitbox and this narrow ledge. But, doable as are all things. 
Now the crystal cave is full of invisible walkways as well. Ah, here's that sparkling sound. Now the way you can tell where they are is where snowflakes are falling. If snowflakes fall like that and you see them just dissipate midair, they're landing on a platform. A humanity. Now, there's also a bunch of those assholes. Recognize the moonlight butterfly? Yeah, he's a little bit harder to fight here because he's got a lot more area to move around in. Or she? I don't know. Alright, um, a lot of people went ahead and just marked this with messages. So, this is your main path here. There is a side path down to that crystal there below that butterfly, but we're not going to bother with that because we just don't need to. This gold golem is bigger and stronger than the rest, but he doesn't respawn, so don't worry too much about it. Twenty-five hundred souls ain't bad. Okay. Now, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the tilt, but I always get yoinked toward this corner here. I don't think I've ever actually fallen off the corner there, but, you know, be careful. I'm gonna roll down here. Yeah, what's up? There's an item down there. I don't actually know what that item is, but whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Now, I think this platform is actually fairly wide, so you don't have to worry too much as long as you just run straight for this spire here. Now, this butterfly we're actually going to aggro because we w I want this item here. This is another soul of a hero, which is worth 10,000 souls. Grabbing that... no? That's odd. Usually when I grab that, it immediately aggros the butterfly. Okay, checking my phone real quick. Okay. Ha. <sighs> yeah, not very many people like to team up for Seath. Yeah, strange creature. I don't actually know the names of these things, I just call them clam bitches. So, these things are decently tough, and they do a lot more damage than you'd expect. Yeah, grow them one at a time and you'll be fine. Now we're going to go ahead and expend our uses of Lightning Spear, as it's not going to be too much use to us fighting Seath. I don't know how he didn't damage us there, but I'll accept it. Now, these guys, however, once you kill Seath, because he's in that room in there with that light, you'll get a, uh, a bonfire there, like we did with the Four Kings. These guys are amazing farm material. They have a decent number of souls. Not great, but not horrible at all. God damn it! Quit yawning! <laughs> um, but anyway... They also have a decent chance to drop purging stones, which if you don't want to use, can be sold for a decent amount of souls, or Twinkling Titanite, which normally costs 8,000 souls a piece. So, let's go. I don't have good farm at the moment, but that's okay. Yeah, we don't want to switch back and forth anyway, because this, or putting the shield out, builds up my meters, which will immediately begin stacking my curse and we don't want that um, additionally we're going to equip the curse bite ring our physical protection is going to take a bit of a dip but our curse resist is going to be godly Oh, yeah. Alright. 
Sorry, I was waiting for the meter to go down. These guys don't actually do curse, but whatever. Wait for the next one to aggro. Now, also, if you're backing up, be careful. I see a summon sign. Be careful, because there is one back in that corner. So someone's chilling over here. Waiting, huh? I've done it before. Honestly, helping other people fight lords is a great way to farm souls. Come on. Oh no, I got two. Alright. Time to lightning spear some bitches. Okay, though. Twinkling Titanite. And see, ah, uh, two twinkling. Ooh. Hell yeah. You look kind of interesting. Okay, it looks like that was the person who had their sign up there. I'll try for it a little bit. There is a drop you can get from Seath if you cut his rearmost tail. I thought I did that. There we go. I've never actually managed to get it. Summoning failed. Did they move their sign? Summoning failed, but I can't touch their sign again. Is my internet down? Shouldn't be. Not my phone's connected to it right now. Let's try again. Why? Why is summoning failed? Okay, there the sign moved. So they probably put it somewhere else. do this without help. But help would be nice, you know? <laughs> like, I love getting assistance. Co-op in Dark Souls can be fun. Aha! Why? What is going on? Global, no password. There should be no issue. Oh, maybe it's on their end. Oh well. Let's just go. takes longer to use a humanity than it does to use an Estus, so if I start to take really high damage from his crystals, I'm gonna need to immediately pop one to be sure I get it off. Hey, look, it's the Primordial Crystal. I'm not gonna lie, when I get really high level and have an ass load of vitality, I prefer to wear a helmet that has my face exposed. I love seeing my character's face and hair. Like, if I'm going to work on it, even if it's minimal, I want to see it. You're so cool. I hate that I have to kill you. Say hello to Priscilla's dad. 
Eat that shit! Ha! <laughs> All right. God. I'm doing so much damage. Uh-oh. Block! Okay, get that Estus off. Estus. Sorry that you couldn't really see what was going on. I was just two-handing and repeatedly using light attacks. So just... Just repeatedly until I was out of stamina. It was working. Yeah, I... This isn't even the most broken I normally do. A lot of times I'll have the Black Knight Greatsword by now, and I'd be doing so much more damage. Alright. That took hardly any time at all. forgot I can't immediately go back in or I get kicked out. That went better than I dared hope. If I hadn't used the curse bite ring though, I would most certainly have been dead from curse. Alright. We can afford to change our armor back now. I don't like his armor. I like good old Black Iron Tarkus. Tarkus is my boy. Even if he only has one fight with me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and equip Havels again. Light bitch. Or, well, medium bitch. Oh, yeah! Level up! What was that? I was going for the great sword of Artorius! How could I forget? Three more levels and we can wield it. Oh boy. Did I actually make it yet? Nope, we have the soul of Sith. Okay. Checking my phone. Well, hell. We got further than I expected. Well, not further than I expected, but much faster than I expected. We have two of them so far. So, we'll go after Nito next. I always leave the Witch of Eyes Lith for last. Because she's a massive disappointment. That's right. There was a chain of events I was trying to do to get some items. I do not have the Sunlight Maggot. Therefore, We are going to the depths to farm. Maybe that's where I died. I need an ass load of humanity to become a plus two chaos servant, unless I am already. No, I'm a warrior of sunlight. All right, we're gonna rest here, just in case I die. We're going to swap that out for the gold covered serpent ring. Or well, actually, we're what we're going to do is the ring of evil eye and the symbol of avarice. Now, the symbol of avarice is going to slowly eat away at our health, but it gives us a boost both to item drop and soul drop. And the ring of the evil eye, every time we kill an opponent, we gain some health back. It's a good way to counteract that constant drain. So we rat farm. We're 
gonna go ahead and pop all the uh, regular humanity we have. We're gonna need to donate 30, and that 30 has to be liquid to donate. I'm not gonna lie, my health regen is keeping up better than it normally does. So yeah, I just run through the path and take out all the rats along the way, because, you know, rats drop humanity. A little tidbit I forgot to mention when I ran through the depths the first time. Gaping Dragon. Um, the channeler that's right here by these rats, if you don't take him out, he'll be shooting at you while you're trying to fight the dragon. Yeah, I know some people will struggle with the dragon. He's not necessarily that difficult. It's mostly just learning his moves. As is everything. But I know some people will struggle with him. And it's understandable. He's a big fuck-off dragon. But, uh... Channeler can make even good players have some difficulty there. I apologize if I'm raising my voice. I can't tell how loud I'm talking, what with the waterfall raging in my ears. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and pop the twin humanities as well. Okay. So we need ten more before we can actually go become a plus two chaos servant and get the Sunlight Maggot. Now there's two reasons to get the Sunlight Maggot. Personally, I prefer it if you're going through the Tomb of the Giants. Cast Light spell is good, but you have to have some intelligence to use it. Then again, I have the intelligence, so I guess that is an option, huh? Either way. Um, yeah, you have to have some intelligence to use it. And you only get three casts of Cast Light, so if you're exploring, you're going to have to go back to the bonfire to get your spell back. God damn it, I hate that lunge! Fuck you, rat! Anyway. I prefer the Sunlight Maggot. Not only is it just a good piece, um, you have to get it in order to save Solaire. So, and that is the circuit I run to farm humanity. I think I'm going to put down my white sign as well. There's surely someone who wants help with the gaping dragon. I'd be all too happy to oblige. Not to mention I get free humanity for helping someone. I didn't rest at the bonfire. <laughs> well, my health is ticking. Ha, <laughs> bitch. I'm not gonna lie though, when he lunged at me, I was a little scared because my character I normally play with, that lunge swipe could have probably taken out about half my health. And I'm still running a tank. Yeah, New Game Plus 2 don't fuck around. Honestly, though, there's one boss that, while I don't really... He's not too huge of a problem in base game, I always dread fighting him in new game new game or new game plus plus two on and on because you know they just get stronger for like seven new games and that is the four kings because as you saw when i fought him earlier the four kings honestly isn't that bad if you know what you're doing and if you have high damage output like i currently do however if you're a new game, oh my god, or new game plus, 
You have to do so much damage to take one down fast. And I know their weakness is fire, but even a plus 15 Zwahander with charcoal pine resin on it. Just, oh, and 60 strength. souls doing this either. Oh yes, I'd like to mention that tomorrow, Saturday, um, I'll probably try recording and streaming a little bit, but I don't know how much I'm going to get done because we're planning on I don't know what time we're going over. We're going over to the house to continue moving stuff out of the basement so we can, you know, the moving process. Damn, six in that run. We're gonna go ahead and hit these guys too. Souls, chance to drop good items. Now, I'm assuming I stuck with my pattern and killed Super Ornstein. Yeah, I have the Leo ring. Which means we can get Ornstein's spear as well as his armor. Did I use an Estus or... No, I just killed enough rats that I gained the health back. It is me, the great rat smacker. Just kidding, that isn't me. The forbidden app. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually a little tired. I think it's more physical than mental, though. Just working for the week, you know. Especially since my boy Loaf is out of town at a funeral. So, because uh, he and I work together now. And my boy Loaf, unfortunately, had to get, well, they had to get someone else on the truck with me instead of him. I don't mind Ricky, but I'm kind of awkward alone with him. There's like a, let's see, he's, I think he's 61. So there's a, there's almost 40 years of age difference there. I honestly don't know what to talk about with him. And I'm the kind of person, like, I like to talk while I work. I like to just talk with my coworkers. And it's so awkward, because I don't know what to say, you know? And this just makes the workday go on longer, because we're just sitting there quietly working. Which, I mean, I guess there's only so exciting driving around and picking up trash can be. But whatever. That's not the point of this essay. Hell yeah. One more humanity and we'll be good. I'll probably farm a little bit more, of course, just because, you know, humanity. It's good to, it's just good to have a stockpile of. Before I go into New Game Plus, I need to get an ass load of humanity stockpiled. Enough that I don't need to farm again. Checking my phone. Ba 
Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Oh, wait, I can't stand still too long. I'll die. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, it was probably like five, six months ago. I'm playing, and, you know, I'm doing this exact thing with the uh, symbol of avarice and everything. And my wife calls me from the bedroom. And she just wanted to talk about something. I think it was about Dungeons and Dragons. But I end up just hanging out in the bedroom with her, you know, just talking. And I'm in there probably a good five minutes before we hear this just piercing scream from the living room. And it, you know, it freaks both of us out. And I run back in, and it, my character had died because of the symbol of avarice draining her health. <laughs> It scared us so bad, though. <laughs> In summary, don't forget your helmet. Oh, I didn't two-hand any of the clams. The two-handed heavy with uh, this sword sends the clams flying backwards. I probably don't have enough power to kill with it but it's pretty funny. Let's see, one person from after, one person from before. Interesting. Uh, 32. I don't have anything to burn for souls, do I? Nope. Oh well, I've got my sign down in case anyone needs it. Four and one, that was pretty good. Du, 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 du. Missed. Got him anyway. Alright, we have what we need. Now we can quit consuming them. Uh, we'll finish up this run. Probably get another three or four humanity. That song's been stuck in my head. The one on the left has humanity, those two do not. Dude. And dude. Yeah. Because for some reason it always spawns in the rat's ass. And the big ones have too fat of an ass, so you can't really see it too well. Uh-oh. Swing. You had a little bit of stamina, and that's all you need. Yes, um, in the catacombs as well, towards the end of the catacombs, is another Black Knight with my preferred Black Knight weapon, which is the Axe, or the Great Axe. The Great Axe has the highest damage output. The uh, Great Sword is not far behind, but I prefer the Great Axe as it swings faster. The Great Axe swings at Great Sword speed, while the Great Sword swings at Ultra Great Sword speed. And I know speed isn't really my whole bit, but swing speed's a little important. Unfortunately, overpowering offense can be defeated by speed. No matter how weak and frail your opponent may be, you can be defeated by speed. All right. I don't remember if I actually got the Daughters of Chaos bonfire. I feel like I didn't. But we'll find out. When, oh my god. We'll find out when I get up to the bonfire now, won't we?
Did I get Priscilla's dagger? I did. I was going to be a little upset if I didn't. I love Priscilla's dagger. Ooh. What's up? I do have the Daughters of Chaos Bonfire. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, yeah, that's right. I began to donate souls, didn't I? And then I scrapped it, so I have to do it again. Ah. Dr. Bepper. Okay. Um... Swap that out, and we want Happel's Ring. Yeah. Okay. Do I have enough to level? I'm 40 souls short. I'm gonna have to take care of that real quick. I'll be right back, fair lady. down to 39 arrows? Uh, that won't work. Such a bad shot. Okay. I don't know. Force, enter covenant, yes, offer humanity 30. Okay, so we have the chaos storm pyromancy, and now that we're plus two, we have access to the shortcut to Lost Isolith. Now the reason this is amazing is because it actually allows you to skip the Demon Fire Sage and Ceaseless Discharge, as well as save Solaire. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm sorry I killed you, buddy. I just really needed your souls. Now, um, these guys are not hostile to you, but there are two of them that are. And you'll see it's these two on the left here. Yeah, they aggro to you and start crawling towards you. Hey, Sea of Lava. That's okay, though. We're not concerned about that yet. Now, over here is the Ceaseless Discharge boss. Did I say skip Ceaseless Discharge? No, you skip Centipede Demon, not Ceaseless Discharge. My apologies. Ceaseless is required. Now, entering the white light, he will not immediately be hostile. There's a, two ways to cheese him in this battle. I'm going to use, hopefully, the first one. If not, I'll use the second one. Ceaseless Discharge is a son of Isolith, one of the daughters of Isolith. And as most of them, when the first or when the Chaos Flame happened, he was warped in the ensuing explosion into what you're about to see. And he has flaming pus coming out of his back on these sores. Yep, there they are. 
His sister, whose corpse he's watching right now, just guarding, gave him the orange charred ring to try to soothe the pain, but he dropped it, and it became the centipede demon. Yeah, look at that. He looks so sad. See, he's actually not hostile to you until you loot his sister's corpse. Now, I'm still wearing Tarkus's set. I want to be quick here, but Tarkus's set has amazing fire resist, and we really need that here. Ceaseless is one of the hardest hitting individual things in the game. He will rock your shit. Honestly, he'll two tap me if I'm not unlucky and he just one taps me. But what we're gonna do is grab this and immediately run back to the fog wall if we can. Let's go. Gonna take a swat. Ah, I got swatted out of the air. Okay, run. He'll probably swing again. He missed. Okay. So we're gonna go through this side passage here. This cuts through a little bit. It's a little bit shorter than the normal way. But the reason this is important and I'm pointing it out is because that is actually what I use for the second method, that little area there. You can get him stuck in a loop of his big slam attack and then smacking his hand when he does when it's just stuck on the ground. Okay. As you may notice here, there's a cliff there. Where the air uh, where the ground just kind of falls away. He jumps. And is hanging. Knock him down. And his health just drops because he lost his grip. And as he dies, since he's the source of all this lava, at least in this area, the lava cools for the most part. There's still some pools with items in them, but you're going to want to wait till you have the orange charred ring to go for those because it makes you take very minimal damage from fire. Or not fire, lava. It lets you walk through lava. <sighs> okay. Now the demon ruins in Lost Isolith, the way I understand it, were one of the last areas that From Software did in the game, and they were absolutely rushed in the creation process because they were nearing their deadline. At least that's what I understand. So, Demon Ruins and Lost Isolith, a lot of people's least favorite areas. There's a lot of copy and paste, like, Demon Ruins, other than the fucking, uh, fire demons, which are just statues that breathe fire, it's nothing but Taurus demons and Capra demons, and a new burrowing gr rock grub or whatever the hell, just a giant worm. So yeah, your enemies here are disappointing. The area itself is disappointing as well. Just, it's cool. Like, the lore of it is amazing. I love the lore of this area. Lore-wise, it is one of my absolute most favorite places in the game. Goodbye, Capra. Gameplay-wise, though. Okay. Now, we're going to continue along here. Roughly here. Kirk is going to invade us again. If you don't remember, Kirk invaded us in the depths. He was our first um, NPC invader. Kirk is a member of the Dark Wraiths. His full name is Kirk, Knight of Thorns. Because his sword, shield, and armor, doing with rolls, all do bleed. Um, did I walk past him? Oh, there you are. What the hell? He's doing so much damage to me. His bleed is normal. Why the hell did he do so much damage? I'm a little upset. That's the first time he's ever killed me there. Fuck! I 
hit him twice, and I was just gonna bitch kick him over the edge, but... Nah, he just decided to slap me like a bitch. <laughs> All right, round two, motherfucker. He cannot stand up to the power of my two-hand swing. Especially if I heavy shot his ass. He's definitely not gonna kill me with bleed. My resistance is way too high. <laughs> so I know the community is like really divided over what the best playstyle is. A lot of people like the stereotypical Dark Souls player is the dexterity build where you're just rolling around everything. I've always preferred to be a tanky knight. It is the easiest way for me to survive and honestly I'm kind of shit at all the dodge rolling and shit. I can dodge most things. I'm just not good at playing a character whose focus is dodging and getting in cheap hits, you know? Fuck your dodge show. Alright. Um, we're not human this time. I forgot to do that, so Kirk will leave us alone, I guess. But there was a meme about it I saw that made me laugh. And it was like, uh, me and my tank build when the dex player pulls off their 87 hit combo and only does an eighth of my health. <laughs> There's a bonfire right down there. And one of those new enemies I mentioned. Yeah, that bastard. Yeah. Come hither, bastard supreme. I hate that that knockback is enough for me to completely miss with my second swing. Yeah, that weird little sound you're hearing, that's the rock, rock grub. I can never... I always say it weird, I don't know why. Like, it, it does not want to roll off the tongue. Bitch. How much does this do to you? Decent amount, not gonna lie. It does 69 damage. Huzzah. My turn. <laughs> I can one shot Capra. I can't one shot him in New Game Plus unless I do a plunge attack, but. Okay, I was gonna be real upset if I couldn't one shot them. I only have 22 arrows. It'll be enough. Alright! Now that's the only one that doesn't respawn, unfortunately. So, proud knight. Okay. Should be able to get another level in with the souls we picked up. That's about 6,000, I think. Yeah. Ooh, maybe not. Yeah, I need about six... Well, almost 700 more. That's okay, though. Let's go get it. A hey, bitch ass fire demon. More bitch. 
Jazz Fire Demons. Now, layout for this area. Down the steps, there's another Taurus Demon. Right there, or well, there I guess. Another one of the grubs or worms is going to come out. There's a capper there with an item. Two more fire demons. That is the demon Fire Sage. We will be fighting him. Taurus, Taurus. And then over there, the fuck is going on with this angle? Okay. There's going to be five worms along that. But at the end is the large flame ember, which will enable us to have plus ten fire weapons once we have the smith who actually works with fire. That's right, bud. Follow me. Arr! muscles and you still died like a beach and I took your great axe now just be careful you can run by him really easily but be careful with the damn worm because he loves to lunge and swallow you I have no idea how much health uh, that actually does why is it trying to have a player invade me I am not human anyway I have no um, no idea how much damage his swallow actually does because uh, at the time I had been sw I've only been swallowed once and at the time it happened I had 15 vitality it was before I knew how to properly build a character we will be getting the flame ember or large flame ember but first we have business to attend to now there are nine sunlight maggots over here. The one we want is the red-eyed sunlight maggot. Though it doesn't hurt to kill the rest because they have a chance to drop sunlight metals. The uh, covenant item for the warrior of sunlight. The red-eyed one drops a sunlight maggot item. As well as it is the only one who doesn't respawn. I always kill all nine of them though just to be sure no glitch happens. The rest of them will respawn, but they won't actually trigger anything. Alright. There's four on this side and five on the other. We'll open the door. You can only open this door if you're a plus two chaos servant. Video's getting close to end. I think that's the one I need. It was. I saw the red eyes. We'll take a look at it here in a moment. You bitch. I forgot there was a crystal lizard. Okay, that was seven. Ooh. Eight. And we have the Sunlight Maggot. We're now ready to take on the Catacombs and the Tomb of Giants. Okay. No, 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 no. Intelligence. One more intelligence and we can uh, use the Great Sword of Artorius. Artorius. All right. We're going to go ahead and call this episode here, but until next time, as always, I hope everyone really enjoyed the show, and that you all have a great day.